Super Mario 3D World was Bowser's Fury. Uh, just got like a like an overview trailer. I think that's what it's called. It's about seven minutes long. I'll probably have it playing in the background. I'm not going to watch it myself, only because I've already seen it, and it's a pretty long video, and I don't want to go over it again. But uh, I'm just doing a quick short video, kind of highlighting what they said in the video, and kind of like my projections for Bowser's Fury, because it doesn't look bad, it just looks like really, really short, which isn't saddening, it's just like a little concerning. So I'll just kind of go over what they said in the video, kind of what they highlighted, and then um, uh, go into Bowser's Fury a little more. So, um, the only thing they really highlighted was the online multiplayer, which we, the US trailer had nothing about it for some reason, like, you're in a global pandemic, everything's not so great, you can't go outside, we're not gonna tell you about local online play for some reason. So they finally brought it up in this trailer, and it also looked like there was a completely new level I hadn't recognized before. And I'll show you like that, like a, probably in slow-mo that right now, it's probably on screen right now, but I, I played 3D World on the Wii U. I, it's like one of my classic childhood games that I always remember it, but I don't ever remember that level, so I wonder if for online play there are specific dedicated levels or they are adding more levels and then Bowser's Fury. I'm, I'm just curious, because I don't ever remember that being a level. And if it was a level, and someone does remember it was in the original game, please tell me in the comments, because I don't really do research when it's stuff like this, so I don't really know. I just didn't recognize the level. Um, aside from that, uh, all I saw, again, was like the new level, there was online play, which I just hope it can actually hold a connection for longer than five minutes. That is my only hope. And honestly, I would love if they put in the 3D Land levels into 3D World because 3D Land was probably one of my first video games. I love it to death. So I would love if they put in the 3D Land levels into 3D World for the Switch as kind of like just an ode. They probably won't do it, but that's like on my wish list, wish list for things I want from them. Um, so I really only project because this is, these are again my projections, predictions, ugh. these are my projections, predictions, um, kind of wish list almost. Um, seeing that level makes me wonder if there are, I'm going to predict new levels to the base game. Potentially specifically for online, but they could also be for just new levels in general so I'm predicting new levels to the base game after seeing that because I do not recognize that level um, my wish list for the base game put in the 3d land levels I love them to death and I would love to see them come back because they 3d land has been neglected for quite a while and though it's a mediocre game it's still a fun game to play and it was the pretty the, the and it was the predecessor to the Wii, uh, 3D Land was the predecessor to 3D World, so I would love to see it, uh, come back in some way. On to Bowser's Fury. Uh, this, this one, it doesn't scare me, it just, like, slightly concerns me a little, only because, um, it seems like it's just one giant sandbox level, which is just the slightest bit concerning. Okay, so I, I pulled up the, um, I pulled up the seven minute trailer again just to make sure, so I have the info I need. Um, I'll have it on screen right now. I do not remember this level at all. Like, it looks like it's from the high in the sky circus levels that I think are in the final level or the secret levels. I just, I don't remember it for some reason. So, I'm, I'm going to guess, but I will think there, there, but I do think there will be new levels in the base game. And, uh, let me speed up to, oh, I forgot to bring up snapshot mode. Apparently, 3D World and, um, 
Odyssey were made in the same engine, so you've got like this snapshot mode and you can use stamps in it. It's the same graphical, like, um, uh, HUD layout as the snapshot mode from Odyssey, which is exciting. I would love to see how this works. It looks really fun, and they found a way to revamp the use of the stamps. That looks like tons of fun. Bowser's Fury. So, we've got the cats. Uh, Bowser Jr. is here with his sunshine brush. Super excited for that. It's the first time we have seen that thing since sunshine. And his clown car, it looks beautiful. I am super excited. There are also cat shines. Is this... 3D World Bowser's Fury masked as Odyssey DLC, or is this Super Mario Sunshine 2? It's kind of. Um, a lot of people are saying it looks like one giant connected world, which is what it looks like, but I'd like to predict that the lighthouses kind of have that, um, uh, like the, um, paintings in uh, shoot, the paintings in 64, and the, um, what are they called? I'm sorry, I'm blanking, and the, like, paint strips in, um, and kind of pipes in Sunshine, that they connect you to other levels you can play to get these cat shines, but a lot of people are saying there are only four cat shines across the entire world. There are four directly next to that cat bell, I think. It spawns you right next to the cat bell, but it makes you branch out to the furthest areas away and work your way in. So that it, although it's one ginormous world, it's like Sunshine's um, Delfino Isle, where you can see all of the locations, you just have to warp to them because you, at the time they couldn't program the whole island to be a thing. So it's basically like what Sunshine would have been if it wasn't just... A single area connecting you to other areas and it was a giant island with all the areas there um, going through the video Bowser jr. looks like he looks awesome I would love to do two-player stuff uh, there's snowy stuff um, th yeah there's like a giant tower with snow so it looks like there will be different tundras we've got uh, reoccurring um, kind of like things like the invisible blocks uh, yeah, Bowser Jr. looks like tons of fun. He's got his paintbrush, which is super exciting. I'm interested to see this mechanic where he paints on the wall where a question mark is, and I don't know if it's a randomly generated power-up, but he brushes on the wall and it, like, creates a power-up, which looks super exciting. And also, there's a clip of Pom Pom. Plessy, oh, Plessy, Plessy, however you want to say it. This looks awesome. You basically have free reign over Plessy. You can go on land. You can... It, you get free reign, and it looks like tons of fun. And then there's Bowser. And really quick, I want to go back a second in the video, because I am watching it right now to kind of see things I may or may not have missed. Um, hold on, I'm letting it run through. There are tons of spikes in the background, and I don't know if that's just depth perception, but it looks like some spikes go through the cat, um, cat lighthouses, and the, uh, there's a floating island over some, so I wonder if they start you off at the very beginning like we saw in those videos where the giant cat bell is, but you clear out the oil, like, because if you look, it looks like it's pretty expansive for, like, the weird oil spikies in the background. So I wouldn't be surprised if they have you take the lighthouses that light up the oily, gunky stuff. Kind of like in Sunshine, where you collect the sun, the shines, and it lights up the island. You get the shines, the, uh, um, you... Uh, get the lighthouses to light up, you light up the oily area, and it goes away, and you unlock more areas. Then, when you have the entire island around the big Bowser thingy surrounded, when you have Bowser surrounded, there's nowhere for him to hibernate anymore, so then the cat bell is released, and you do the whole giant Super Saiyan Mario cat fight. Uh, I wouldn't... I would not be surprised if that's the case, and I think that would be pretty interesting 
because um, it looks like a lot of this is taking inspiration from Sunshine, and that looks awesome. Also, I don't have the audio on, but I know what the dude is talking about. Bowser will wake up occasionally from his little cat nap, and he will wreak havoc upon the island, and apparently the spikes he shoots out and all the stuff he does will change the layout of the island. That sounds definitely not confusing and scary. Um, certain spikes, like there's this one that's gold that when he fires it up, it breaks open with coins, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's a thing. And they're, the, they're, they're like these little cat medallions, so I wonder if it's like, um, like here's the animation of him going back into hibernation or whatever, but with the cat, like, medallions, it looks like they, um, have, uh, the cat medallions, it looks like something like the silver stars from Galaxy or the mini moons from, uh, Odyssey. Also, we have a name for the cat bell. It is now called the Giga Bell. Kind of exciting. Also, the cats turn evil for a little bit. Uh, kind of sad about that. When Bowser wakes up, he makes all the cats evil. And I hate it when cats are evil because cats are awesome. I love all kinds of animals, so I, I think all animals are awesome. Kind of. There are a select few I do not like. They are not showing us anything about the fight with Bowser and the Cat Bell, but sadly, I think this trailer just proves my own prediction for unlocking more areas. Because it looks like assuming, like, Super Cat Mario, Giga Cat Mario, whatever you want to say, it looks like in this final fight there are still oily spikes, so unlocking that area may not be an option. But, well, via, like I said, with the lighthouses, but I wouldn't be surprised if you still uncover areas from the oily masses. Like, over here, it's hard to tell, but it kind of looks like an overhang or a plateau. So maybe you fight him multiple times over the course of this fight, and so you unlock multiple gigabells to push him back further and further. I don't know. It looks like it's one giant connected thing. I don't really care, because I still have the base game of 3D World, I'm predicting more levels, uh, I'm predicting kind of a few things for Bowser's Fury, we don't know anything about it because it's something completely new. Amiibo support looks fun, I might end up getting the Amiibos, I do not know, uh, but I'm definitely glad I put aside 60 bucks to buy this game, because it will be great no matter what. Well, those were my predictions here. Let me give you a quick list. Um, in the base game, I predict new levels, maybe for the base game, maybe for multiplayer. I don't know. I'm predicting new levels. My wish list is bring back the 3D Land levels. That is my big wish list for the base game. Bring back the 3D Land levels. If not, that's fine. I still have the game on my 3DS, and I can play it whatever, whenever I want. Um, predictions for Bowser's Fury. Uh, um, honestly... Uh, the lighthouses and getting the cat shines, kind of like sunshine, open up more areas. Um, the lighthouses um, will have a function where you can go into them and they take you to other places. Um, there are different tundras with different climates. That's just predicting from what I saw, so more like a projection rather than a prediction. And wish list. Holy guacamole, give me an epic fight against Bowser. I think it's named Fury Bowser. Just give me something epic, because I would love to, like, make it so that you can't go in the oil because it hurts you when you go onto it, but as, like, Super Cat Mario or Giga Cat Mario, you can walk in the, um, gunky oil or whatever, and it won't hurt you because you're, like, super shiny and you can walk through it and clear it up. I think that would be awesome. Uh, I didn't predict that earlier. I'm just putting that on there because it just came to mind. And, um, yeah. Super excited. Thank you all so much for watching. These were just some of my predictions, projections, and wish list kind of stuff for Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Um, Hope you all enjoyed the video. This is some pretty big news, and I am super excited. As I said, 3D World is probably my big childhood game that I 
love to till the end of time. Uh, I remember getting it, and I was so happy. Um, yeah, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Turn on notifications so you know when my next video comes out. I'm working on something really big right now. So, working on something really big right now, so super excited about that. Can't wait to get it out. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and have a great and wonderful day.